So why people can't find your videos? Well, there's a couple of reasons to that. No worries, because I'm gonna share with you how your videos can get discovered. Before I jump into how your videos can get discovered, here's some statistics. So a year ago, over 400 hours of watch time are uploaded to YouTube every minute per day. And now it's 600 to 800 hours of watch time being uploaded to YouTube per minute per day. So let's say you're watching this video for 30 seconds or so. In, in, in the meantime, there's over 300 to 400 hours of content being uploaded to YouTube. And that's how much competition there is because this is a huge platform. And I'm not telling you this for you to get scared of competition or anything. I'm just telling you this for you to know that there is a few steps before you get discovered. So people can actually find your videos. And it'll work on any niche of any channel. So whether if you have a cooking channel, gaming channel, or a tutorial channel, this will apply to every channel. The first thing to help us is that we need a tool for better titles. And YouTube is a completely fair platform, but people with tools have a leverage over channels that don't have tools. And that's why my channel didn't grow in the beginning, but now it does. Because now I use all the necessary tools. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into the computer and show you how I grow. And you could do the same. Make sure to watch to the end because if you miss one step, it's not gonna work. All the steps work together. That's what I'm trying to say. You see, if you do this correctly, these kind of results happen all the time. First things first, you want to have the proper traffic sources. For the last 90 days, most of my views came from searchable traffic. So when they type on YouTube, they can find my videos, which is important. If my views came from notifications, look, it's only 1.9%. And that's one of the reasons why your videos can get found. Because most people who watch your videos are already subscribed. And that's nice, but that's not going to help you grow your channel. Another important part is click through rate, aka CTR, and I'm gonna tell you how to improve it in a second. Generally speaking, you wanna have it as high as possible. And the scale should be between two to 10%, and you wanna get as close to 10% as possible. Or better yet, go above 10%. So now I'm gonna show you how to get searchable titles. So first, to get a tool, either vidIQ or TubeBuddy, and I have TubeBuddy. You can download the free version, and the link is gonna be in the description. So one of the main tools I use is Keyword Explorer. Now I'm gonna type a gaming title. Let's say Fortnite. Now let's explore this title. So the, the, this app gives you a score. So in this case, it's very bad. Now you see on top, weighted and unweighted. Weighted is how this title will perform for your audience and unweighted is outside audience. And in the middle, they have search volume, competition and optimization strength. And search volume is excellent because too many people are searching for Fortnite and optimization strength is bad too. And so there is 184 million videos on YouTube of Fortnite. So how in the world are you gonna compete with eight, 184 million videos? It's just impossible. But now let's change it to a title that would be better. And for example, this title, sure, nobody can get that kill record, but it's just to show you. So for the weighted score, it's 34 points. But I also don't do gaming videos anymore, so that's why it's like that. The search volume went only to fair. And competition is almost at the yellow line. And optimization strength is all the way to the end, which is awesome. And you're competing with 1.21 million videos instead of 184 million. So which one is better? Yes, this title. Now let's type a different e example. And now we have an iPhone 7 review, which is not that good because it's an old phone. And now I typed iPhone 11 Pro 512 gigabytes and let's see how it performs now. In weighted, it scored all the way to the end, almost 83 out of 100, which is awesome. And for unweighted, 69 out of 100 is very good. So this is exactly the formula how to get better titles. Titles are super important for people to find your video and to increase your click through rate. And second one is good thumbnails, obviously. So there's a few things that you need to know of good thumbnails. First, what you need to know about good thumbnails is the subject of the video has to be in the middle of the thumbnail. Second one, if you wanna add text, it has to be very clear and bold text. And there should not be too much text on the thumbnail. And it should be between three or five words at max. And the thumbnail should always complement the title, not copy what it says. 
You see why these thumbnails over here is very direct to the point. Simple, but gives a clear message. Third is description. Make sure to write all the important things in your video in the description. And also it should be a thousand characters at minimum and you can add up to 5,000 characters. The point is the better you describe your video in the description, the more YouTube will push your video farther because the algorithm knows what your video is about. And you can also put stuff that you, what you said in the video. Because YouTube is listening to your video, so you want to add what you said in your video, like at least the beginning, in the description. The fourth one that can help you out for your click-through rate is tags. I think the free version of TubeBuddy only gives you three tags, but the paid version gives you unlimited. And I have the middle advanced version, so that's why mine is unlimited. And these numbers on these key phrases or tags, it basically represents where they can find my video. You see, if somebody searches for the t this title, it can appear third. And that's why you want to add a lot of key phrases or tags. And by tags, I don't mean just one word, I mean a full-on key phrase. If you do this on every single video, some of them will grow and get a lot of views. So, and that's how I do it also. And this is only the first part. The second part is you have to get more watch time. So click this video if you want to get more watch time. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!